Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts on behalf of our online church, God's Online Church of Love. Now listen, you guys. For those of you who are dealing with stuff, for those of you who feel like God has handled you with a, an iron whip, that is not always the case. There are times when what's going on is you have a war that where you've got the good and evil, the dark and the light, the, the demons and the angels working against you and on your behalf. And what I want to share with you is delayed prayer does not mean denied prayer. Sometimes your prayer doesn't get answered at the time you want it answered because it's not the fullness of time. Do you hear what I'm saying? Um, when you plant a palm tree, the palm tree is not going to be full grown in a week. The palm tree is going to go through some stuff for the first three years before it even really breaks ground that much. And then after it starts to sprout and it, it starts to grow up maybe three or four inches above ground, maybe six inches, a half a foot to a foot, another year has gone by. And it doesn't seem to have made much headway. And you wonder, well, wait a minute. God designed this palm tree to be tall, to hover over everything. The sky is the limit. But there are times it takes a while to not only break down deep into the ground, but some of you have to be deeply rooted or you can be too easily plucked up from your position, from your commitment. God knows this about us. I thank God for his understanding. He knows why some of us are so easily swayed. So what he does with some of us is he gets us deeply rooted. And while he's deeply rooting us, we're still going through all the trials of life and the different weather changes and the seasons and all of this. And we don't get why God hasn't brought our change? Why hasn't he brought about my change? Has he forgotten about me? What's, what's up with this? Well, sometimes it's his timing. You watch a palm tree after seven years and it's like, whoo, it just seems to grow overnight. Same thing with us, you guys. Some of us have to start off extremely slow. Because once God is really ready to do stuff with us, bless us, and, and, and the, the things of life that we've been waiting for begin to unfold, they might be toward the end of our lives. Other people may get theirs early, but then you see them at 50, 60 years old, they're not even walking with the Lord anymore. Or if they are, they're pretty much just kind of just muddling through life. So don't always look at someone that looks like they're getting theirs and they got theirs and boy, everybody's getting theirs but me. It's a frustrating time and I get you on that, trust me. But the older you get, the more you realize there's a whole lot more to what God has in store for me. I have a lot to look forward to. Some people don't even have health to look forward to anything with. So they've gotten theirs early in life. And for the most part, they're pretty much done. Used up goods. It's just the way life happens. You know, my father used to tell me this. He used to say, you know, Patty, you gotta watch how you treat people. Because life is like this. Now, my father was born in the year 1900. Yeah, so he was not only old, he was wise, very wise. And he used to say, Patty, you know, you got to watch how you go through life. One minute somebody is going above you, and oh, they're getting theirs. And then the next minute, you don't see them anymore. You don't know, well, where did they go? What happened to them? And then next thing you know, you're starting to get a little taste of yours. And then you level off. Or oh, things happen and you may hit a dip. And life go, has a lot of ups and downs. And one day, one day, if you're up here 
and that person is down here, you be very careful how you treat them when they're down there because life is going to cycle again. And when you hit your dip, they'll be hitting their high. And they might look at you and remember how kind you were to them when they were at their low ebb and reach down and pull you out of your dip just like that because of how you treated people. And the scripture I share with you on that one is... Treat others as the way you want to be treated. I'm paraphrasing. Do unto others what you would have them do unto you. You never know what dips, twists, and turns life will bring. And you never know what somebody will or won't remember about something you did while they were going through. Remember that. God bless you.